have to listen to playback on my latest video that I made, Are Black Men the Majority of Contracting HIV and AIDS Virus? There was something, when I was listening to it, I was like, you know what, there's something else I forgot to mention that I want to bring up. I want you, to, to the ones who are listening to this video, I want y'all to really sit back and I want y'all to really think about this. I want you to use some critical thinking about this, all right? Okay, first off, the HIV and AIDS virus affects everyone. Regardless of race, regardless of sexuality, it affects everyone. And yes, there have been black people who have passed away from the HIV and AIDS virus, but there have also been some Hispanics, some Asians, and white people, right? This virus affects everyone. White people are the majority in this country. Black people are the minority. How is it possible that black people have the highest in HIV and AIDS cases, but yet we're the minority? Are they trying to say that every minority that's in this country is having sex? <laughs> I mean, for real, y'all. Like, yeah, like, I'm, honestly, honestly, y'all. Y'all really sit back and really think about that. If we're the minority and white people are the majority, how is it possible that we have the highest in HIV and AIDS cases? Is every single black person that's living in America is having unprotected sex? Hmm. How is it that white people doesn't have the highest in HIV and AIDS cases when they're reproducing? It's more of them than there are blacks, Hispanics, Asians, whatever type of ethnic background. That's why I say, that's why I ask the question, are white people having sex more or are they artificially inseminating more? Do you think that there is a scare tactic that's placed on black people to get them from reproducing do you think there's a fear that if we continue to reproduce we will eventually become the majority in this country honestly y'all really think about that think about that we're not the minority we're not we're the minority but yet we're the majority of catching hiv and aids virus as if they're saying that you know black people if you guys have sex you know you guys have the highest in hiv and aids cases oh for real well that means i need to stop having sex with this black woman over here you know what i need to start having sex with those black men because they, they they're not going to affect me do you think they're trying to separate us to try to keep us from reproducing so that we won't become a majority and even if we do reproduce do you think there's another tactic that's thrown at us to keep us from becoming one? And when I say one, I mean black man, black woman, child. The, really, really think about that. Really think about that. Do you think there's a plot? Do you think there was a plan to separate us? Do you think there's a plan that was set up for black men to become deadbeat dads or black women to become no good mothers? Think about that. Think about that, y'all. Think about that. Think about it. We're the minority, but yet we have the highest in HIV and AIDS. Are they trying to provide a scare tactic to get us to not to no longer reproduce anymore? Are they scared that black people will become the majority in this country? So they try to keep us from having sex with one another. Or they tell us to wear condoms so that we won't ejaculate in the woman to be able to create this newborn, this 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 newborn child that will one day become a black man, a black woman. Think about it, y'all. Think about it. If this AIDS and HIV case is so serious, why are white people still reproducing? How are they reproducing? As I said, are they reproducing more by having sex or are they reproducing more by artificially inseminating? Or are there other means of reproducing that black people don't know about? You know, like, come on, y'all, really think about that now. Think about that. If the HIV and AIDS case is so serious, then white people should have the highest in HIV and AIDS cases more than black people because they are the majority. How are they reproducing? <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I tell y'all to really sit back and really think about it. Is 
are is is this are this the statistics true that black people have the highest in HIV and AIDS case? I don't believe it is. But I will say that we definitely have to be more cautious when it comes to having sex. But at the same time, I don't believe that we have the highest. I believe if black women went and had sex with a white man, they would contract the AIDS virus. I believe if black men had sex with white women, they would contract the AIDS virus. It's not, you know what I'm saying? The HIV and AIDS virus affects everyone. It doesn't affect just black people. It affects everyone. So people, like I said, do your research. Stop being closed-minded. Stop being ignorant. Go out there and find out the truth. Don't fall for what someone is telling you. And I'm not really, and all, 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 all I'm, all I'm providing for you guys, all I'm providing to you, I'm, I'm trying to open, I'm trying to open your minds when I'm making this video. I want y'all to really open your minds and believe what's true and what's false. How is it possible that we have the highest in HIV and AIDS case, but we're the minority? If this, if this HIV and AIDS case is so serious, how, how is it that white people are still reproducing? Is it true if black people had sex with white people? Is there a slim chance we won't catch the HIV and AIDS virus? Think about that, y'all. Quit being ignorant. Quit being closed-minded. Really think about that. Holler, y'all.